Composers are inspired by everything around them, from a walk down the street to the latest mind-boggling scientific discovery. The music they write for orchestras to play can also be shaped by folk music. You see, every country has its own style of music. A bit like every country has its own way of speaking. Hi. Folk music comes from years and years of history, traditions, and storytelling. Just imagine sitting around a campfire listening to music that tells the story of a famous battle, or the mountains and rivers around you, or even a mystical creature that lives in the sky. Folk music can also teach us lessons about everyday life and shows us how different people live all around the world. Hey, would you look at that? The musicians from Southbank Symphonia come from heaps of different countries. So come on, let's go exploring. If you go to a French Canadian party, there's going to be a lot of singing and a lot of dancing and there's often going to be a folk band present. Now, if you don't play the fiddle, or the acoustic guitar, or the accordion, or any other kind of folk instrument, you can still join in on the fun. All you need is a pair of these. English folk music has been passed down through many, many generations by singing or playing it to each other. And what's interesting is that from each generation has kind of edited the song to reflect the times that they're living in. So from the song that we started with all those years ago to the song we have today, it's very different. It's kind of like a big game of Chinese whispers. Chinese folk music is quite diverse, as it draws influences from the unique sounds of the many indigenous tribes in Taiwan and Chinese folk music. This song is called Gao San Qing, translated as Alpine Green, which describes the scenery of Ali San, a mountain in Taiwan, the beauty and the strength of the indigenous people living there. This bush ballad named Waltzing Matilda is considered Australia's unofficial anthem. The song tells a story about a swagman, someone who lives and works off the land with no place of their own, living out their life in the Australian outback. The song is sung at many large events, parties, pubs, you name it, and is used to bring everyone together. You might be wondering why I'm wearing this strange thing on my head. It's a daffodil and I'm wearing it because I am from Wales. Wales is known as the land of song and throughout history, Welsh people have been making beautiful music. Our ancient folk songs tell myths and legends about dragons, poets and brave warriors. These songs are often sung in the language of Welsh, which is a very old language and completely different from English. This song is called Ahid Anos, which means all through the night. It's about the beauty of the stars and how they shine through the night to light the path in the darkness. a folk song from Hungary and it talks about a peacock that flies over a village and it is seen as a sign of 
Hope and Freedom by the poor prisoners that are in the prison of the village. These kind of melodies and harmonies are the roots for so many Hungarian composers like Kodai and Bartók, who were really inspired by the folk music of their country. Bartók's music is a great example of how composers borrow ideas and snippets from folk tunes, shaping them into amazing music for orchestras to play. Once upon a time, Bartok heard a woman singing some local folk songs, and he became obsessed with collecting these tunes. He travelled from village to village all around Hungary and nearby Romania, scribbling the tunes down in his notebook, or making recordings on something called a phonograph, a machine that scraped sound waves into a block of wax. Once back home, Artok transformed these tunes into versions ready to be played by orchestras, but not without adding his own creative twist. The Romanian dancers are some of the most famous today, based on seven tunes from Transylvania. Originally, they would have been played on fiddles and shepherd's flutes to dance to, on the streets and in the village halls, giving us a glimpse of the hustle and bustle of village life. Inspiration can be found anywhere and everywhere, so keep your ears open for the music, sounds and stories around you. And why not have a go at creating some of your own folk music? It might just become your next greatest hit. Thank you.